Numbers don't lie, and when it comes to real estate, numbers tell a story. This is Cindy Nelson with this month's market update and some numbers. Let's talk appreciation numbers. Over the last two years, home value appreciation has exploded in the Valley. Since October of 2020, we've seen double-digit annual appreciation getting as high as 28.5% between March of 2021 and March of 2022. We cannot keep up with that kind of growth, especially since incomes have not even come close to growing at the same rate. The bottom line? It's good to have owned a home over the last two years. If you have, you've most likely gained significant equity over that time. And if you're looking to get into the market, homes continue to get even more expensive. Let's talk interest rate numbers. Rates are higher today than at any time since 2009. Rising interest rates make monthly mortgage payments higher, reducing buying power for people needing a loan to finance a home. We've gotten spoiled over the last 10 years with low interest rates. Prior to 2004, rates averaged 7 to 8% or more, peaking in the early 80s at over 18% for a 30-year fixed rate conventional mortgage. And people still bought houses and most likely refinanced a short time later. Now here's something to keep in mind. Economists say we're in or heading into a recession. In nearly every recession over the last 50 years, interest rates rose at the beginning of the recession, but in order to come out of the recession, interest rates are lowered to stimulate the economy moving forward. We can't predict the future, but if past history is any indication, interest rates should be coming down in a matter of months. With home affordability getting more challenging, the market is adjusting. The number of active listings has skyrocketed in the last few months, from nearly 4,000 homes available for sale in the Valley to over 16,000 homes. That's a tremendous number. And what's truly interesting, we've only seen 2,000 more listings this year versus last year. So where did all that inventory come from? Demand has fallen. Buyers aren't grabbing up houses the day they hit the market, keeping houses on the market longer, causing the rise in inventory. The insanity appears to be over. All these numbers are signs, and the story they're telling is that we may be returning to a normal market state. It's not necessarily cause for alarm. The sky is not falling. We'll need to continue to watch the numbers, but as long as people keep moving to the valley, and people continue to need places to live, we can expect prices to keep moving upward, just at a slower rate than we've seen over the last few years. If you want to discuss if now is a good time for you to make a move, please give me a call. I'm Cindy Nelson, Realtor and Resort and Second Home Property Specialist with Realty One Group.